And now we'll get down to cues, trick ones, and to a player who's renowned in his particular field, Newman Mond. Now as a change from some of these more difficult tricks on the table, I'm going to show the more simpler ones, tricks that are easy, that is easy when you know how. Firstly, I take a matchstick which I put up on the table. And now I surround it with three snooker balls. And taking a heavy stroke from over here, I endeavour to knock down the matchstick. But the matchstick just remains put. But it's easy when you know how. Striking again, I show you just how it's done. It's knocked down by the cue ball, by playing the run-through shot. You see, it's easy when you know how. Now here's a snooker shot that would puzzle even Joe Davis. The black ball is placed against the cushion about six inches away from the pocket. And the idea is to pot the red in the, the black in the middle pocket. But it's easy when you know how. If you have a specially loaded ball that's heavy on one side, it's just easy when you know how. In this trick, I borrow a felt hat which I place on the table upside down. And placing a white ball a couple of feet away from the hat, I endeavour with two cues to put the ball inside the hat. Thank you. Now this is not at all easy. It's much like using chopsticks. Once he's struggling with a piece of spam like this. By placing three fingers in between the two cues and gripping with the other hand, I'm able to pick up the ball and drop it into the hat. You see, it's ever so easy when you know how. Now here I place the red ball about six inches away from the pocket and tie it up against the cushion with the white touching it. And the idea is to pop the red in this pocket and obtain a cannon at the same time. The most obvious thing to do is to strike across the table, providing you get the correct amount of side. And it's not too easy that way. But if you play off here and strike across here, then you don't meet with any more success. But watch carefully, it's easy when you know how. Instead of striking, I merely press on the ball. With the result, now I get the cannon and the pop rim. You see, it's ever so easy when you know how. Now here's a little poser in snooker. I've got the blue ball hanging over the middle pocket. And over this pocket is the white ball. And the pink and the black are so close up to the white ball that it doesn't permit me to go through either between the two or that way or this way. But still, here's a legitimate snooker stroke. Pop the blue in the middle pocket. Now don't imagine I'm saying my prayers when I get down here on my knees. 